Hey everybody, and thank you so much for tuning in to this mini chat tutorial with your boy, David. Let's go! Today, we're going to be talking about the new mini chat feature that lets you add conditions to your keywords. This helps you add more personalization and specificity to each of your automated responses. Let's jump right into it. So to start, I'm going to go to new flow and then type in keyword conditions as an example. Okay, so we're gonna start this with Messenger. So we're gonna go to Facebook and then go to Facebook keywords. And as you can see right here, we have this new block called message conditions. So let's say we wanna do location and then located and then locations, right? If message contains one of these and it says California, or Los Angeles. I'll create it right here. Okay, and then now if someone, if they send a message that says one of those two things, all we have to do is say, hey there, our California store is located at this address. And voila, now we can activate this flow and every time someone sends, sends us a message with the words location and California, we'll send them a response that's directly aimed at their question. Now I can also change this and instead of saying California, we can say New York. And then we'll kill this or we'll say NYC, right? So now, oh, need to save it. Also a very important thing, you need to make sure you save it because it won't save if you just type it in. NYC, and then we'll say New York. Okay. And now instead of this, we will say New York store. Awesome. Okay, so now we've set up the New York conditional keyword. Let's say we want both active, the New York and the California examples. All I would do is go here to publish. Awesome. And then we're gonna go to duplicate right here. Flow copy to flows folder. So now we'll go down here and see keyword conditions copy. So now we'll go here and say activate, but instead of New York, we're going to say like we did before, California and we'll say Los Angeles, right? And then once again, you can add as many conditions as you want here. So I could keep going and going and going. This gives you tons more options and gives you really a lot of ways to um, keep adding to the specificity of this, right? So if someone comes in and asks, hey, what is the location of your California store? Or hey, what is the location of your New York store? You'll have an individualized, personalized response for each of those questions. So yeah, so I'll click save right here, and then boom. Now let's go back to the other one to make sure. Cool, and then that's activated too. So now if anybody messages me about my New York or California store, they will get the exact response that they need. So. Hope this helps, hope this makes you uh, excited for all the different possibilities you have and look forward to the next tutorial.